Hello all, welcome to the third video of the series focusing on the latest enhancements on NCS 5500 routers. In this video, we will discuss the implementation of ACLs on BVI interfaces. We will understand what BVI interfaces is and look into its use cases. With the help of demo, we will understand the implementation of ingress and egress ACLs on the BVI interfaces. All this just after the short intro. My name is Tejas Lard and I am a technical marketing engineer in the Cisco MIGBU. Let us first start with understanding what is a BVI. A BVI means a bridged virtual interface. It is an entity of a bridge domain. It acts as a gateway between the corresponding bridge domain to a routed interface within a single router. BVI provides a much more flexible solution for bridging and routing within a single router. It supports communication between multiple interfaces in the same bridge domain as well as different bridge domains. It interconnects bridged and routed networks. Further details on understanding the BVI interface, I would highly recommend to visit this article which gives the understanding of the feature in great details. Let us start with application of ingress v4 and v6 ACL on the BVI interfaces. v4 and v6 ACL on BVI interfaces is supported on all the platforms including Jericho, Jericho Plus and Jericho 2 both in native as well as compatible mode. For applying ingress ACLs we do not require any specific hardware module profile. Application of the ingress ACLs is similar to applying the ACLs on a normal interface. Let us verify the same with the help of a short demo. We have a router configured with the BVI interface. Let us configure IPv4 and IPv6 ACLs in the ingress direction and verify its hardware programming. We can see the ACLs are attached to the BVI interface. Let us verify the V4 hardware programming. We can see the interface BVI21 has the ACL permit stats applied in the ingress direction. Let's verify the V6 hardware programming as well. We can see the input ACL IPv6 one is applied on the BVI interface. The CLI configuration is just similar to the programming of any other L3 interface. Now let us move to the egress direction. This is where the difference comes between a BVI interface and a normal layer 3 interface. By default BVI interface does not support ACL on the egress direction. To support the ACL in the egress direction, we need to enable a specific hardware module profile. Let us check with the help of a demo, the application of ACLs in the egress direction on a BVI interface. Let us configure a V4 ACL in the egress direction. We can see the configuration is failing with the error invalid configuration. Let us verify the hardware module profiles and see whether the hardware module profile for allowing the egress ACL on the BVI interface is present. We can see we don't have the hardware module profile. Let's configure the hardware module profile allowing the egress ACL on the BVI interface. Configuring this profile will require a reload of the chassis or all the line cards. This will also block the egress ACL configuration on all non-BVI interfaces. Let us reload the chassis.
After the chassis is up, we can verify the hardware module profile and reapply the ACL in the egress direction. We can see the hardware module profile is present. Let's apply the ACL in the egress direction. We can see the config is getting accepted. We can also verify the hardware programming. You can see on the interface BY21 on the output direction, the ACL is getting applied. Let's apply the V4 ACL in the egress direction on any non BY interface. As stated before, the configuration will get rejected. This is because we have different qualifiers for BVI and physical interfaces which will need more memory banks to be accommodated together. So we checked how to use the V4 egress ACL. Now when it comes to egress V6 ACL, it is supported only on Jericho 2 native mode. If a chassis is operating in compatible mode, we will not be able to configure V6 egress ACL on a BVI interface. Let us log into a router and check it directly. Let us apply the IPv6 ACL in the egress direction in a chassis operating in compatible mode. We can see the commit is failing. The error will show invalid configuration egress ACL not supported on this interface type. We will check the same in a chassis operating in native mode. We have a chassis NCS55 V1 which is operating in native mode. Let's configure the V6 ACL in the egress direction on the BVI interface. The same V6 got applied in the native mode. We can also verify its hardware programming. We can see the V6 ACL is attached to the interface. To summarize the support for ACL on the BVA interfaces, we support V4 and V6 ACLs in the egress directions on all the platforms. V4 ACLs are supported in the egress directions on all the platforms but with the help of the hardware module profile. V6 ACLs are supported in the egress directions only with the J2 native mode. For further deep dive on the feature support, I would highly recommend to visit our XR Docs article in which we have covered the ingress and egress ACL support on the BVI interface in details. We have also captured the TCAM resource utilization when using the ACLs on the BVI interfaces both in egress as well as ingress direction. I will be posting the link of the document in the description section. Hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.